Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing, shall we? So we're looking at matching possible opponents for ranked boxers in a given division. We're going to start off at super welterweight. And to get the ball rolling, I go to boxrec.com and I look for the rankings of super welterweights, rank one to 1,000 something, okay? We're gonna look at the top 25, but there may be some people outside of that 25 which have been matched up already or we may think of matching up with. And we're gonna look at our top 10 super welterweights, okay? So let's start off with Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's already matched with James Kirkland, so we'll move on to Arislan Lara. And he is the WBC regular champion at the present moment. So if he's a champion, should a champion match himself up with just any opponent? Absolutely not. That doesn't mean that he can't match himself up with, say, rank number 17 opponent, if the number 17 opponent is a good opponent, right? Like Carson Jones, for instance. But Erickson Andy Lara has fought Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's already fought Carl Carlos Molina, Austin Trout, Vanas Matarosian and Ishe Smith, the top 10 guys. So he either goes outside of top 10, there's an up and color comer, Julian Williams, for instance. You know, he could fight him if he wants to. But um, I, maybe even a Carson Jones. But let's look in the top 10 as first preference. And when we look at people who are most lucrative here, we have IBF world champion Cornelius Bundrich, WBO world champion. Demetrius Andre, up and comer Jamel Charlo, and we have Joshua Clyde. Out of all those guys, I think the most lucrative fight for Arislandi Lara is Demetrius Andre. It's Demetrius Andre. Right? Let's move on. Cornelius Bundridge. Well, I've heard talks that Cornelius Bundridge might be fighting Jamel Charlo's brother. Jamal Charlo. So that's in the works. That sounds good. But if not, since Cornelius is, you know, an older fighter, maybe he may consider Carson Jones. Carson Jones just came off of a great win against an English fighter who Demetrius Andre also beat, but Carson Jones beat him in the first round. He knocked him out. So Brian Rose is the guy's name. So I'm just saying, why not match Carson Jones with Cornelius Bundridge? You know, just thinking, okay, he's a WBC uh, sort of interim belt or international belt title holder. Okay, great. Maybe Eris Landy Lara might be interested in him. But I'm just saying, that sounds like a good matchup for Cornelius Bundridge. With Demetrius Andrade, Eris Landy Lara, if he can't get Lara, Jermel Charlo, it's a good bet. Of course, like I said, Carson Jones is there, you know, but it's up to him, all right? Uh, Demetrius Andre has not fought Saul Canelo Alvarez, but Alvarez is occupied. He has not fought Eris Landy Lara, who is our best bet for him. Um, other than that, there's nobody else in the division. There's, there's, there's Floyd Mayweather, but he's not active, so he's not even in this list. Vanis Matarosian, after that heartbreaking uh, loss to Jamel Charlo, he's got Austin Trout he can fight. He has, uh, if he wants to go to Mexico, Carlos Molina. He's got Joshua Clay. He's got Ishe Smith. I don't know if he really wants to fight Ishe Smith. I mean, it's an easy win for Vanis, but I don't know what he's going to actually achieve by fighting Ishe Smith. But then again, he's there, so up to him when it comes to other people to fight Carlos Molina he's all the way in Mexico so Molino's got these guys here he's got Julian Williams he could fight Anthony Mundine Carson Jones Glenn Tapia Jesus Sotos Carras Willie Nelson okay Willie Nelson's a good a good a good fight that would be a good fight and um, Charles Hackley, okay? So um, those are guys he could fight. Um, 
Shroud could fight any one of these guys here. Or he could fight, um, he could match him up with a Julian Williams, who's an up and comer. Okay? Even a Glenn Tapia, that would be interesting. So, those are some of the guys he could fight. A Willie Nelson is another good, a good bet. Willie Nelson's pretty solid and he can hit pretty hard. So, that'd be a good matchup. We already talked about Varnas. Claudie, we haven't heard much about Claudie. He beat Anthony Mundine. But since then, he hasn't really fought any competition that we know about. I, I would say this. Joshua Claudie versus Carson Jones would be a very interesting matchup. Claudie versus Soto Carras would be a good matchup. And Alfonso Gomez, that would be a great fight for him because he Gomez possibly could get beaten by Claudie. So, uh, good matchup. Ishe Smith. It's kind of tough to match him up with anybody. A rematch with Cornelius Bundridge might be good. Um, really, it's not it's not easy to match him up. Willie Nelson would be a good fight. Um, that's about it, really. All the other people, you know, he's probably not going to match up very well with because his style is kind of... It's not exactly the best style in the world to see. You know, he's not that exciting or entertaining to watch. Mainly because of his age, I think. He, he can't throw punches all that great anymore. And, and so he's kind of in the latter end of his career. But he was a former IBF title holder at this weight class. I don't know why he's ranked so highly, but I guess that's the way it is. Um, if Julian Williams wants to chance it, he could fight Ishii Smith. I'm pretty sure Julian Williams will get the win over him. But to match up Ishe Smith, you know, maybe a Carson Jones with Ishe Smith would be a good fight. Um, and that's about it, really. So, that's playing matchmaker. And that's the top 10. And this is how I would match them up. But definitely you hear the name Carson Jones being thrown around a couple times because I think his win against Brian Rose really made a big difference. And I think... Hopefully, he'll get a shot at one of these guys. And who knows? Who knows what Carson Jones is capable of? Don't rule the guy out, you know? All right, you guys have a great day.